Morning everybody, Troy from the do-it-yourself world and the off-grid project. Going to attempt to do the brakes on my car today, myself. I say attempt because there are special tools required to compress the caliper on this car. And the ABS brake system is interesting on this. It is not like all your other cars in the world that just use a simple uh, C-clamp on the brakes. I'm going to lube these lug nuts real quick before I get going. Also, I don't know if I can reach. I can't even see the nuts that hold that brake on. Yeah, I won't get to see it till I get to it. These are not torqued on like that Jeep was. These were probably set to the actual torque specs by the feel of it. All right, now I'm gonna jack the car up. I'm gonna pause the camera because that takes some manipulating because the way this car is designed, there's a special lip that you have to jack that up on. So I've got to set it up and find the right, right uh, socket and everything for that to get it going. I put a jack stand and a spare tire under the car. In case my jack fails, I have double backups because um, this car, I don't know if it shows in camera very well, but I have it extended to the fullest extension of the jack, which I don't like. That's bottomed out all the way and this barely barely clears the ground. And that's the jack that came with this car. It's got special points on the car where you jack it. Special reinforced points on each of the four corners. So there's not a lot of clearance and playroom in this system here. Those tires need to be replaced soon as well. Now, somebody had put NIC's compound on these, which is a good thing. Now I'm lubricating the nuts that I have to remove. Actually, I always lubricate the... Uh, when I do this stuff, I always lubricate the um, uh, bleeder valve and the connection where the rubber hose goes on as well. Because... Uh, that's a, often a fail point in the systems like this. So now, um, is that... It's a round cap. No, then there's a different knot. I hate to put my head under a car like this. Oh, there it is. I think... Wait a minute. Uh, there's the ABS clip. I have to remove the ABS clip. There's a little plastic clip I'll show you in a minute. I have to locate the other mounting bolt. This is a two-piece caliper system. There's a bolt here and there's a bolt where? There's two bolts that hold this brake caliper in place. Yeah, I haven't done this in a long time. <laughs> and this car is not typical. All right, well, I've got to figure out where the other bolt is. So I'll be back with you in a minute, and then I'll show you what I'm all up to here. Somebody put anti-seize on this last time, which is great and beneficial. It's all covered with anti-seize compound. Really awesome stuff if you plan on keeping your vehicle. Unfortunately, I didn't feel safe to drive this car one more time. The 
metal was grinding on metal and I did not want to damage anything. And I had the brakes in my trunk. I was putting it off and putting it off. For one, it was cold. And this requires flexibility of fingers in a warmer day or a heated garage. And the other reason was I've been working on the house and the garage so much and the water system. Okay. So that. Well, it wants to come off in one piece. The brakes back off with the wrench. I'm not sure where or how. That's really on there. Oh, come on. On deeper. What I want to do is lock it on so I can get the brake off. Yeah. No. Oh. Oh. Odd. What was uh, the wear pattern? It's horrible, but yet there was still some meat on these. It's very weird. Now, I think this is the nut somewhere on here. There's a tensioner nut that you have to do. I think it's this one. You might have to look on the internet. But you have to decompress this. I think it's the socket. These are compressed and I have to decompress them all the way. It's a self-tightening, self-adjusting system. I think that's got to be the one. You never really can see on the, on the images online until you really get it in your hands how it works. Well, as is often the case with redneck car repairs, backyard working, you discover that you might need a certain tool after you get the car apart. And as bad as this was, I wasn't driving it anymore and I'm not putting it back together. So you have to turn the piston, the brake piston, with a special tool. Now I know what the tool is and what it looks like, but now it's too late. I also discovered it's more common than I thought with General Motors and some other vehicles. All I've worked on is classics in the past myself until now. Even my truck was a good old plain GM standard product. Simple brake jobs on that was a quick fix. So I've got to drive this piston in all the way. All the way back. I'm using a plastic handle screwdriver so I don't put as much pressure into that thing. I don't want to damage anything. All the way around and around and around and around. I've been doing this for an hour.
wish I had a, a way to get into town now, but the, uh, the Jeep is not roadworthy at this moment. I'm still working on it. With the fuse block being damaged, until I replace it, I can't trust driving that Jeep down the road. Because none of the, uh, well, it's it's the main fuse block, obviously, so it affects your lights and your turn signal and everything else. Who knows what else might go off. So, I've got to replace that before I drive it. But I'll have it running before the snow falls. Got to get the car done first. That's my top priority right now. I've been cranking this in a while. I wonder if I can fit that on yet. I think I'm going to try. I've been really cranking on it for a long time. I'm going to see how much room I need to fit the new pads on there. I don't know if you're supposed to keep going until it stops or what. I've compressed it quite a ways. That's actually almost looks thinner than the original. Yeah, I'll give it a few more taps and then I'll uh, try putting the new pads on. We'll be back in a bit. Much time has passed, and I have to say, this is the worst brake job I've ever done in my life. These little metal flimsy clips clamp onto a piece of cast iron and they keep coming out of place as I'm trying to put the brake pad in the way in there and this brake pad kept falling through one way and then getting jammed crooked it took me a good 30 minutes to get one in so far now I'm not an expert and I'm not a mechanic so don't laugh at me or mock me all I've done is classic cars up to this date and classic cars are a quick job in comparison and this stupid brake caliper keeps uh, sliding on me so that the uh, I'm having a bugger of a time getting this to go Really, I've never had such a job like this before. When I'm trying to compress it, I don't see how this is supposed to sit in here because this piece is in the way. So I'm really having a job of it. Really struggling to get this together. I think I have to compress it a lot further then. And this new... Oh, I see. Uh, Alright, there's a tab that sits in the slot in that. I think I have to compress it a lot further for one thing. And there's a tab on the pad that sits in a slot. Yeah, I've got to go a long way further. To get that pad in there. Oh boy. This is no fun. This is the worst brake job I've ever had to do in my whole life. If I'd had the money and I knew how bad this was, I'd have taken it in. I have to keep compressing. To 
much time has passed and I finally got it to slide the disc in. Now, finally, well it was a job. Now I've got to take the disc assembly in one piece and put it on. Because if I don't, I'm going to lose all the work. These little retaining clips on this thing are a absolute nightmare. I don't like it at all. There's these little clips on these brake pads and they were a terrible nightmare. Now, how am I going to do this? I need to keep that in place. I need to keep those pads in place with the rotor assembly in there or they'll come out. Afraid if I lose it, if I take that out, no, they're gonna come out. It's coming apart on me. Yeah, this isn't gonna happen. Like they said, I read online you can do it like that, but it's not working. Oh, I'm gonna have to risk it. Oh, don't fall apart on me fall apart. Uh. Okay, don't fall apart. Don't fall apart. Why are you fighting me? It's not... Oh, finally. Oh, this was a half a day job to get one on. Madness. Absolute madness. Never, ever had such a job. I've done breaks. I've done so many breaks in my life. But all classics. I just want to go. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Yeah, I'm going to buy that tool next paycheck so I have it on hand. That is not fun. Oh, wow. Well, it's probably about 1, 1 1.30 now. Quite a day. Uh, for one break, one side is done. Okay. Well. Wow. I'm going to tighten those nuts up, and that one will be on. Well, there it is. I'm going to hose it down with Fart's Freight Cleaner so that uh, we don't have any slip. Put the wheel back on, and I can go over to the next one. What a job. What a job. Now these tires got to be replaced soon too now. These tires are bad. That's December's job is to do that. December's paycheck. Well, end of month December, I guess you'd call it January, huh? Wow, one on. 
I'll show you a bit more detail on the other side when I'm doing because this side was more of a learning experience for me although I had seen I looked in line uh, when you have it in your face for real everything's different Again, I'm going to torque these to the proper specs later before I drive the car. I'm not even going to put the hub cap on so that I remember. I got my torque wrench out in the shop. I'm just snugging these, same as I did with the Jeep. Okay, that one's done. Oh boy. Jackson 11. All right, see you on the other side.